Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, we are going to learn how to do black and white conversions in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by clicking on the new adjustment layer button and choosing black and white. Here, play with the RGB and CMY sliders one at a time to control the conversion from color to gray to your liking. Next, from the new adjustment layer menu, choose selective color. Move this layer below black and white and then from the drop down, select neutrals. Play with the CMYK sliders one at a time to your liking. Remember, selective color allows you to fine tune the contribution of colors to luminosity. Now repeat the process for the other color component drop downs one after another. Next, from the new adjustment layer menu, choose color balance. Move this layer below selective color. As the name suggests, this adjustment allows you to manage the balance between various colors. Play around with CMY sliders for shadows, highlights, and midtones dropdowns. Next, choose gradient map from the new adjustment layer menu. Change the blending mode of this layer to luminosity. This will help us adjust the tonal range. From the gradient map dropdown, choose black comma white. Now click inside the gradient to open the gradient editor. Create three new stops in the gradient ramp at location 25, 50, and 75. Double click on the first stop to open the color picker and change the brightness value to 25. Make sure hue and saturation are set to zero. Now repeat the steps for the rest of the stops and make sure the location matches the brightness value. Now this gradient ramp acts as an advanced levels adjustment. You can now play around with the individual stops to make tonal adjustments to the image as per your requirement. From the new adjustment layer menu, choose curves. Change the blending mode of this layer to soft light. To increase the contrast further, Bring the curves line up a bit in the highlights area and down a bit in the shadows area. Feel free to play around with the opacity slider to control the intensity of this adjustment. Next, hold the command option shift and press E to create a stamped copy of all visible layers. Right click and convert to smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. Click on filter in the top menu and choose Unsharp Mask from the Sharpen dropdown. To sharpen the image, play around with the Amount, Radius, and Threshold slider until you're happy with the results. Now change the blend mode of this layer to Soft Light and then adjust the opacity. If you would like to go one step further and brighten the eyes, create a brand new layer and then click on FX and choose Blending Options. Uncheck Transparency Shapes layer, which is telling Photoshop to not use transparency as a boundary. Change the blend mode of this layer to Color Dodge. With the foreground color set to white, select the brush tool from the left menu and make sure the flow is set to 10%. Now slowly paint over the white areas of the eye that you would like to brighten. Adjust the opacity slider to control the intensity of this effect. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.